hello guys today we have 2021 cadillac escalate the problem of the car is the forward long range radar is missing because the car was accident from the front side so now we are going to fix the front long range radar and uh, we will program it so before fixing that let me show you the other radars too because there are three radar at the front so here is the front long range uh, the, sorry the front uh, short range radar this is the front right short range radar and the, at the other side let me show you yeah. just a minute uh, here this is the left front short range radar this is the location and this is the night vision camera and this is the front view camera and the forward long range radar is located here at the right side of the front bumper as you can see the wiring and so i have got the radar this is the radar from the company so now we are going to install this radar and after installing we need to program it online so i have already fixed the bracket and the long range radar let me show you here is the long range radar and the bracket is located on the right side of the car so <clears throat> uh, i have already done the after fixing if you are getting a new radar or either a used one so you need to program it online uh, using sps so i have already programmed this radar uh, with the sps now i am going to do the uh, calibration uh, the calibration of the radar so for that i'll have to drive the car <clears throat> so let me also show you that there are uh, three radars at the front and one uh, this camera this uh, night vision camera two are the short uh, short range radars and uh, one uh, one is uh, forward long range radar as you guys you guys can see i have already shown in the video but for the reference as you can see that <coughs> these radars are there so let me fix the bumper back and uh, to drive the car i will have to fix the bumper so i'm fixing the bumper and we'll take around on the car so now let me get into the car as you can see that the <coughs> center camera is on so let me connect the computer to the car so for this program for the calibration i will use gds2 uh, this is which is uh, also online so it will take a bit of time to get the specification once we will have the specification then we will go to forward long range radar and we will check the dtc's i will show what kind of dtc's are there there is only two dtc's so after programming after calibration the dtc will goes off so let me go back and select the configuration so as you can see that the engine must be running and the car must need to drive at like for 10 to 30 minutes on a straight road try to drive the car on a straight road because in uh, turns and or either in traffic uh, the radar will be confused and it won't take a successful program so try to avoid uh, deceleration and acceleration
on the main road uh, <clears throat> and the service driver driver assist message should be there if it's not there so it means that the radar is not taking program so make sure that this message is appears when uh, you press the learn button so it should be there if it's not there so it means that the radar is not in learning mode now the program is successful and i have set the cruise as you can see that the radar is green and it's working and uh, it is uh, taking automatically black and all the adaptive system is working